I just hope more and more people, and I'm challenging myself to do this, to try to try to get into a more of a state of joy about just your everyday life and what you find joy in that resonates with you. Because I think, you know, there's sort of a crisis of, of happiness even going on. And mm-hmm. uh, I, I mean, I believe that a more joyful society is always going to be a society that's elevated from a consciousness perspective and also a sense of goodwill towards each other. Um, I think what we've seen in the past few years is a lot of intellectual jousting and people trying to out um, outwar each other with you know evidence here and I'm going to try to intellectually debate you. But I think you know getting more in the heart space and getting more in a space of let me kind of see what animates me authentically, what make what brings joy and happiness to me, so I can come to these discussions, come to these challenges with maybe a smile on my face as opposed to just feeling so beaten down. Because I, I mean, I can relate. A lot of people, rightfully so, feel beaten down by the system, beaten down by the rigors of just daily life, um, particularly in this country. And, you know, I've been fortunate enough to travel the world a lot in the past few years to see sort of other cultures and other realities where, you know, people may not have as much per se as what people think we need in terms of all this abundance, but bring more of a, a state of joy to their everyday life. Um, and I, I see how that pays dividends. So my my thought for 2024 would be whatever challenge you're dealing with, whatever existential crisis is going on in the world, uh, we're going to be better problem solvers if we're in, in more of a state of joy and happiness than we will if we're feeling beaten down and approaching it from um, sort of a, a, a state of desperation. Mm. That's it. That's all. Yeah. How would you answer that, Joe? Well, I was, uh, you know, it's funny, David, you just, you just basically, uh, you took the, you took mine. No, you know, no, that was, I, I wrote a whole bunch of stuff about that and preparing a little video for, uh, for some people about that. Um, uh, actually this afternoon before we jumped on and, and just kind of really just talking about the, the concept too of, of letting go as it, as it relates to that enjoyment. It's like, we, we, we always are trying so hard to do so many things um, and trying and trying and trying, you know, uh, whether it's even a meditation practice. Oh, okay, I want to, I got to try to do this meditation. I got to try, I got to try, as opposed to why not just go meditate and, and see how you can make it an enjoyable experience. Like worry less about doing every aspect of it right and see like, what would it, what would it take for this practice I want to try or that I want to explore to be enjoyable, right? Like, um, why is it that we're always like grueling? Like, instead of finding the things that are enjoyable, that are healthy and enjoyable, we're like trying so hard to figure out and fix and fix and fix. And it's like, I think if we can find what is enjoyable within a lot of the stuff where, where we find that joy and we, 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 you know, even if we're discomfortable in our body, um, where in our body do we find, do we feel comfort? Like, can we, can we pendulate between the thing that always hurts and the thing that actually feels good, like why do we never bring our awareness there? And um, I think just doing that will will do a lot. I mean, there's a whole physiological discussion we can get into on that. But I think what inspires me is, is really, you know, the concept of, of I think more people are looking for that. They've, they've kind of hit that, that point of like, I'm tired of feeling like shit. I'm tired of like the world's so chaotic. I'm tired of things. And, and I think that's an important evolutionary pressure. Um, that is the leading people towards like, all right, I'm ready to listen. Like, or, or what I mean by that is I'm curious. I'm curious to find out what, what could be um, a good experiment to try. And uh, I see more people in that space, which is good. 